Hey there everybody, welcome back to the next episode of my Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts. On the last episode, we took on the Hades Cup. It took us a little while, but we got through the Hades Cup. We got some cool stuff for our friends. And now we move on forward. So actually, we're going to run back to Traverse Town real fast. We have some stuff we got to do there. So, yeah, so the plan for the next few episodes is going to be uh, we're going to try to finish up a hundred acre wood and everything we have to do there and then we're going to take on the end of the world which is our next world and then we are going to take on the super bosses and then we'll get to the end so that that's kind of the the main plan of attack but first things first i have a torn page lying around in my inventory that I think we should take care of. If I could find the book, it's been a little while. There we go. So yeah, it's been a little while since I've recorded. I have been mega busy. Again, I know that's the excuse I always seem to use. But uh, boy, is it true. It has been crazy. I don't know vegetable field we already did. Yeah, it's just been crazy with work lately because again, I, as I've said in the past, uh, I think this is new. Uh, I think in the past I've mentioned it, but I do work for a university. I work in athletics for a university. Right now we're in between seasons. We're in basketball season and baseball season and baseball. Softball season is crazy because we're playing all the time. I'm exhausted, but we move on. All right, so let's see here. We got, we got Tigger bouncing around over here. We got Rue. This here is my bouncing spot. We can bounce around here all day. Nothing beats bouncing. You want to bounce too, Sora? It's lots of fun. Sure, I like lots of fun. Bounce with the finest. You'll need some pointers from the finest. Makes sense. But Owl, you don't bounce around like we do. Anything? There we go. I'm afraid you're right. I can't master everything, I suppose. You can fly, though. That's kind of cool. Uh, Alright, see you later, Owl. Bounce this way, please. All right, so I believe we have to basically bounce the way that Tigger bounces, I think. I'm pretty sure. Having high jump is helping in this case. Nothing beats bouncing. Yeah, I know. Do I have to talk to Tigger? There we go. All right, so we have to follow the bouncing pattern. Okay. Nice and easy, right around the outside, and he goes up onto the ridge there. You got it. Of course, now my high jump is gone. That's okay. All right. And we got the sound that we did it right. Always good. Okay, what's next? Now it gets tricky. Okay, let's pay attention. Oh, front, back, so there's a little triangle there. And then he goes, oh, and he almost goes all the way, and he kind of jukes at the end there. All right, I right, remember this. This is easy. Triangle. Okay, turn the camera. Boom. All right, easy, easy. Now we go forward like what we did last time. Okay, oh, okay, now we go back. Yep. And now we go forward. Forward. Oh, we missed. Ah, oh, I knew it wouldn't be that simple. We have to watch him bounce again. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. See, that's what happens when I don't play for a few weeks. I, I, I get all rusty. I end up missing jumps. All right, here we go. It's time for real. All right, triangle. Good. Now forward. And now, back jump. Oh! This is where I'm going to live now. All the things that we've done, and it's going to be the bouncing minigame that gets me, because I just can't figure out jumping. Oh boy, I'm pretty sure that this is also the 100 Acre Wood section with two minigames, if memory serves. So I believe that big honey pot that I'm looking at will be factored in in a little bit here. Okay, okay. All right, now it's the final boss here. All right, let's... Okay, first of all, the camera's got to cooperate, okay. All right, okay. Part one. Now the real... Here we go. 
There we go. Third, what, fourth time's a charm? One of those times, it's a charm. Is there another one? Oh, okay, last one. Fantastical we're doing. Oh. Jumps over there. Oh, okay, we do a little bit of seesaw. On. Oh, you bounce to the moon. Okay. He jumps down on that one and then across. All right. Okay. So the hard part is probably going to be gauging how much to jump from the treetop to that one down there. All right. That, yeah, that's definitely going to be the hard part. Hey, okay. Did it in the first try. Now hopefully we don't screw the rest of this up. Because the rest of this should be easy. There we go. Okay. That was much nicer. That was much nicer. You've gotten mighty good at bouncing, Sora. Right, Rue? Okay, what do you have to say then? Hey, Tigger, I think he's ready for the big one. The big one? Well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, what are we going to do? Oh, yep, there's the pot. Whack the nuts back of the pot to shatter it. Okay. Wham! Okay, so we have to hit these 20 times. Okay, well, this might get a little bit boring. So, yeah, I've been super busy at work lately, which, again, is probably nothing new. But it is still un still annoying and still unfortunate. The real kind of victim here has been um, my normal videos, just because... Those take so much time to do and edit, and, and the one that I'm working on at the moment is uh, kind of my my uh, transitional era retrospective, which is basically where I go over, I kind of go over some general themes and general things from those movies and kind of pick out, you know, the superlative awards, you know, my favorite movie, least favorite movie, best villain, all, all those sorts of things. Um, but what's been tough about that has been two things. One... It takes a little bit of time. Are we getting like bonuses here? Yeah, we're getting bonuses now. But it takes a little bit of time uh, to kind of go through all those, especially in this case, there's just so many movies. So it's just one of those things where it just takes time to just kind of re-go over all those movies, especially because it took me so long to kind of get through them. Um, but the other problem that I have is my thumb drive that had um, all those movies on it has uh, disappeared. Which is unfortunate. Uh, I was going to check one last thing to see if I could find it there, but... It wouldn't be the first time that I've had a thumb drive disappear on me, which is unfortunate. Um, oh my goodness. But, uh... Still annoying, so it would be... Basically, it doesn't really affect a ton in this case, because I've been better about kind of transferring things. Why do I keep doing that, like, lunge attack? I don't want to do the lunge. I want to hit the thing. There we go. Um, but it's still... Annoying in that I would have to kind of go through and get all of the um, movie footage the way I want it again. So it's one of those things where just kind of getting myself to mentally do it has been tough. All right, there we go. I don't know why I kept doing that. If he would just do the overhand swing each time, we'd be in business. All right, so we broke the pot. That's kind of cool. Is there anything in here? There is. Wonderful. AP up. Oh, that's nice. I like AP up. What do you want? Oh, sorry, you're so good at everything. <laughs> Thank you, Rue. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am great at everything. Alright, uh... Are there, like, things up here that I guess you know about? Oh, yeah, I see something over there. We do like items. We do like items. A throw shard. Nice. Nice. What do you gotta say, Pooh? Tree doesn't have any honey, I see. It seems that way. What do you want, Tigger? Let's go try the seesaw. Oh, okay, if you insist. If you insist. Oh! Alright, well, that's a thing. Alright, how do we try the seesaw here? I want to try the seesaw. Are you gonna let me on the seesaw? Hey, let me play! You guys are being very selfish about the seesaw right now. No. Oh, what did I do? Did something. 
What happened? Oh. Oh. Found a rare nut. I don't know what I do with these, but I have it. That's cool. Um, I see stuff up there. It's probably involving the seesaw, but... Ah, there we go. Uh, take over me, my partner. Wham! Oh my goodness. Fired me away here. Oh, we've already been on this side, I think. Let's see if we can get over here. Nope. Alright, let's see what Rue can do then. Boing! Ah! Why is, why is it not giving me the nut? Give me the nut! Alright, well, this is getting me nowhere. Um... Yeah, so I don't know what the story is with these rare nuts. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the story of the rare nuts. I think that we did all that we need to do here. So... Oh, that's what it is. Okay, so if I get the nuts, I give them there. All right. Let's try again then, I guess. Can I only have like one at a time, maybe? Is that... Yeah, that's what the problem is. I can only get one at a time. All right. Well, now that we know what these are for... Yeah, because these are all good. Power up, defense up, all of this positive stuff. All right, bounce me up again here. I don't think I can get this one. Oh, I can. Beautiful. Okay, when you, here you go. You take that. Mithril shard, cool. Okay, rude, you bounce me again. I'm pretty sure that one back there, because I like vaguely remember this whole thing with the nuts. I want to say that one back there is a deep, like it, like it's not one that can that can be collected. I think that one is kind of in the back side there. All right. Um, where, okay, I'm trying to line up the angle so I can. Oh, it's that way. Right. Oh my goodness. All right. No go. So maybe I have to use this then. Yep, that's what I gotta do, all right. Whoa! Except I have to do it, like, not the slowest thing in the world. Oh, I have forever to do it, okay. I can't... I wish I could just grab it. That would be nice. Okay, cool. Made it up there, and now we're up here. All right, I think we got all the nuts. Now I think we've done everything that there is to do here. Oh no, I just saw treasure. <laughs> is there a treasure up there? Is that what I just saw? Yeah, I think that's a treasure chest. All right, one last thing then. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a chilled out episode compared to what we had been doing. All right, dark matter, cool. Uh, let's use all these nice things that we got. Yep. Good. Perfect. Alright, let's... I have another one. I did. Cool. Alrighty. Torn page turned into Mithril. Fantastic. All right, so we need, I think, only one more torn page, I think. Uh, and I think I know where it is. So we are going to jump in the gummy ship, and we're going to go take a quick trip. Back to Halloween Town. And off we go. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da 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 -dum, ba -da Guillotine gate. Alrighty, I'm pretty sure I remember where this is. So hopefully this will be just a quick stop through Halloween Town. I won't even have to fight anybody if it is where I think it is. And if I figure it out correctly. Uh, yeah, Labyrinth Joy, that's where I wanted to go. Because I believe that the, that, that the doctor here has been holding out on us. Yep, there it is. Beautiful. 
All right, I think that's the last torn page, so let's go take care of it now. Cool, cool. Uh, again, I'm amazed at how much I get confused in just that opening area. Okay. Hope you all enjoyed Halloween Town. We're leaving now. Back to our friends Winnie the Pooh. And I can't believe it's the middle of March already. That is the one thing when uh, when I end up getting caught up with, or when I end up getting kind of bogged down by work, time just flies. This is one of those where time flies when you're having fun, or time flies when all you do is work. I feel like I'm in the shadows, but I don't really know how to fix that right now. Alrighty, this is definitely new. A winding muddy path. Go take a look at the winding muddy path. Oh, there's Pooh. Oh, I think I know what's happening here. I think I know what's happening here. What are you doing, Pooh? Shh, quiet or they'll get away. Who? The people who took everyone away. See their footprints? We were all sticking together to make sure no one got lost again. But then I saw some footprints that needed following, so I did. Suddenly everyone was gone. Bad people must have taken them away. Actually, Pooh, I think those footprints are, um... Anyway, I'll help you look for your friends. Alright, so we need to find all of our 100 Acre Wood friends. Good place to start. Hey, it's Eeyore. Eeyore? Hello. What are you doing? Looking for sticks to build my house again. Sticks for your house? This place already feels like a house. Seems like a great spot to gather everyone once we find them. That's a good point. Alright, so basically we have to find everybody and we have to get them here. I think if we target Pooh, I believe he comes with us. Okay. Uh, oh, hi, Rabbit. Oh, no? What are you doing? Why are you being weird? Why, why do you keep running away? I'm trying to help you! I don't know why Rabbit is being strange. So yeah, I feel like this is like a like a puzzle or something, you know, similar to a puzzle memory series. Oh, Pooh's flying. Okay, Pooh has flown up. And now you know what we're gonna fly to. We're gonna fly to. I see a bunch of our friends here. I see Tigger. I see Owl. See, this is real annoying when, when you have to target Pooh to get him to do this. Oh! Oh, do I have to like... Okay. I get it. I think I have to talk to him while he's bouncing. I guess the problem with Rabbit was I had to talk to him? I don't know where Pooh... Oh, there's Pooh. Alright, this is gonna be annoying, but it's okay. He's gotta bounce this way eventually. Sp Ugh, I'm trying to like spam the talk button. Come here, stop bouncing. I know. Hey, there we go. I saw Pooh walking away, so I bounced after him. Then I bounced a bit too high, and I lost sight of old Pooh Bear. Alright, Tigger is in the hut. One down. Okay, is Pooh still up there? Okay. See, I can't, like, talk to him, so I don't, I don't, Oh, there he is. Owl looks so intent on something, well, I just had to follow him. Then Owl flew off into the sky, and there I was, all by myself. Okay, I don't know why that had to work the way that it worked, but uh, it did, so... Another one down, okay. I hope, I think Pooh's still up there, I think I see him. Yeah, there he is. So, that's good. Okay, I think we can set that on fire, beautiful. I don't know what to do with that. But I'm gonna... Try. 
try to get old Pooh Bear over here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Pooh Bear. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, now I think he'll go through here now that I've cleared a path for him. At least I hope he will. Yeah, he seems to be going through. Okay, good, good. Alright, there's Pooh. Alright, I'm assuming that we can... No? I want to just go up on those flowers there. Oh, okay, now he's taking the flowers. Cool. Pooh is a very confusing bear. This game in general is kind of confusing, but we're getting through it. I thought I'd better have a word with Rue about his bouncing. The next thing I knew, quite to my surprise, I was lost too. Well, now you're found, Owl. So yeah, obviously you can do all this probably pretty quickly, which is why they're timing you, but uh, I'm not too worried about speed at this point. I'm worried about just getting everybody home so that we can keep on moving. All right. Uh, oh, there's Piglet. Piglet's in there. All right. I think Pooh could probably get Piglet out. Yep. Hello, Piglet. Pooh, where are we? I don't know where we are either, Piglet. But if we go back the way we came, we should find home. Ha. Ah. So it seems like most of these, most of the Hundred Acre Wood characters I could find by myself. Except for Piglet. I got so scared when I disappeared, so I hid. Because Piglet's the only one so far that really needed Pooh. Um, so I assume, is there Rue as well? Because they mentioned Rue. I don't know where he would be. I have not seen him yet, nor do I really know where else to look. Um, oh, there he is. How do I get over there? Can we climb, can we climb up here? Oh, do I have to get poo all the way over here? Is that is that how this is going to be? Because that would be unfortunate. That would be most unfortunate if that's how this has to go. Or can I, like, jump, maybe? Oh, jeez. Yep, this game's annoying. This one is annoying. Boing. Nope. All right, I guess I need poo. Though I don't even know how to get poo down, quite frankly. Okay, yeah, that's an option too. I don't know how it decides. Oh, come on. I don't know how it decides uh, where it wants to put me, but it certainly seems to. I wonder if that um, beehive has anything to do with anything. Fire! Oh, I knocked it down. That's good or something, right? And what did that do? Oh, is, is that just preventing me from falling? I don't, I don't know what that does. Oh, down goes Pooh. All right. All right, come this way, Pooh. So let's see if you can figure out what to do with Rue here. Okay, I think this is the branch where he's at. Again, super annoying that I have to lock onto him to make him move, but of course by locking onto him, it kind of screws my camera up. Ah, there we are. There you are, Rue. Boing. So definitely the optimal path would be to get Rue. I tried bouncing as high as Tigger. I was so busy trying to bounce, I forgot to watch where I was bouncing. Would be to get Rue, you get everybody else, and then get Piglet. That seems to be the optimal route to do this. Yeah, because now time's up. Everyone's here! Porn page is turned into a new item. Oh, the EXP ring. Useful for grinding. So glad we're all together again. <laughs> I didn't know what to do when I was all alone. I much prefer having the voice acting. Oh, Piglet, you gotta be brave. You weren't lonely at all. Lonely? Are you kidders? I'm a <laughs> Tigger. The most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the is only, I'm one. only one. I'm the only one. Too. Think, think, 
think. Hey, Pooh. What are you thinking about now? Oh, well, I'm just thinking about um, what to think about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off. Sora, where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're go look for your friends, Sora. Oh, well, we're back again. <laughs> I hope you find your friends. See, but we have kind of found our friends already at this point, right? Because we already have Kyrim. I guess we haven't found Riku. We don't know where he went. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, what's up with that, like, 80s John Hughes move there, but... <laughs> Sora, don't forget, we shall always be here. If you'd like to visit again, that is. Winnie the Pooh. Oh man, I love Winnie the Pooh. You have such a great visual, too. Do you love me some Winnie the Pooh? And we close up the book. And we find out it's not the old book, it's called Winnie the Pooh. That we have replaced Christopher Robin. And of course, the keyhole is just the key! How nice. How nice sealed up that world. Ah, and we got a trophy for our troubles. Very nice, alrighty. So, we've done all we can there, so I guess, uh... Let's take the trip on to our final world here. Gotta warp over to Hollow Bastion first. Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty, let's take the trip here. On we go. The final gummy mission. Thank goodness. Once again, my gummy ship is super overpowered. I actually, I, uh, you know, I've said this a couple times, I do actually quite enjoy the, uh, the gummy ship aspect of... It's not something that is required by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a fun little mini game once you sort of know what you're doing, and you can make an unstoppable death machine like like what I have here. That makes the the gummy ships all the more interesting when you're doing the missions and things like those. Though they've actually, I found out, I didn't realize this until I was uh, kind of grinding through the gummy ship stuff, because in the um, in the original and, I guess, the PS3 version of uh, Final Mix, you had to get every single gummy blueprint. So what that entailed was not only doing all the missions, which were tough, uh, but also actively destroying every ship to the point where they drop a blueprint to get all of them. So it was a bit of a grind, especially, especially the missions. There were some missions that were unbelievably tough. Um, and I was sort of, I was starting to work my way through that here, um, until I realized that you actually, they actually changed the requirement for that trophy. Instead of needing all of, uh, the gummy blueprints, you only need, like, like 75% or something like that, which, I mean, doesn't sound like a major change, but, boy, when you don't have to do all those missions, it is a major change. Alright, these ships actually can hurt, so we're gonna, we're gonna stick and move here. Yeah, last gummy mission, they, 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 they throw some of the big boys at you here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Alright. And now we're in full power again. Again, it is one of those things that's kind of funny, because if you just do the normal, standard gummy ship the whole time, which I think a lot of people do, 
you never have to deal with like power or, or anything like that, so it's kind of interesting. You know, have you aware of it? And there we are. We have done all the gummy missions. No more gummy missions. No more having to fill China talk. All right, disembarked. Uh, top Gun. We've unlocked all missions. Look at how eerie quiet it is. But you know what? I think we're going to keep with this eerie quiet for a little while. It's a little bit short, but it seems to be as good a place as any to leave you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger for what we're going to do next. So, thank you all so very much for watching this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my home channel, youtube.com backslash Joe the Disney Guy. If you want to keep up to date with myself and my various channels and all the little projects that we're doing and what happens when I disappear from time to time, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com backslash Joe the Disney Guy. And if you like this, if you like my home channel, if you want to support the channels, if you want to get exclusive looks at these video game uh, Let's Plays that I do, as well as other videos that I do, as well as other cool perks, you can check out my Patreon page, patreon.com backslash Joe the Disney Guy. Thank you all so very much. Yeah, whoa, let's try that again. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all real soon.